Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I'm just saying though, I'm just saying though, guys, today I actually just want to talk about how the narcissist wants you to look like the bad parent. This naturally only applies to people who've had the pleasure or the pain of having to co-parent with a narcissist toxic person or a person that has an, that has bad characteristics <laughs> and I'll explain if you've probably already found out a toxic person or a narcissist they don't like to follow rules in fact they feel like the rule doesn't apply to them this is especially sad when you are co-parenting because you have children together what they want to do is they want you to look like the bad parent. And I'm going to give you an example of what they will do. If by some chance you've made arrangements where y'all have agreed to some degree that this person can have the children every other weekend or every other week. Whatever y'all have decided to agree on, you already know that they're already trying to figure out ways to make that not work, especially if the courts are not involved. Not that having the, court, the courts involved makes a difference. However, if you are just trying to not to involve the courts and you have just agreed on paper we're going to share the children, we're going to share custody, and you can have them every other weekend or every other week. What the narcissist will do is they will tell the children, I'm going to take you to Disney World. I'm going to take you to Six Flags. They're getting the children pumped up and excited on a weekend or on a week that they know that they are not supposed to have the children. You're not even aware of what's going on when the children come back home. They may say, Mom, we're going to Disney World. Dad is going to take us to Disney World. And without thinking, you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. But then you learn as the days go by that they have made or he has made arrangements to say that he is taking the children on the week that you're supposed to have the children. The whole point of what they're trying to do, what he's trying to do, is he wants you to tell him to argue over, that's the week that I'm supposed to have the children. So the whole point of it is to say, that's the week I have the children. You can't get the children. That's the week I have them. Now, they want you to. Tell the children, you can't go because that's the week I'm supposed to have the children. And the children have gotten all excited because they have, the narcissist has went on and on about how great Disney World is and how much fun they're going to have. But they're hoping all along that you're going to interfere and say, no, that's the week I have the children. Therefore, the children will then be mad at you because mama stopped you from going to Disney World. We were going to have so much fun. What they don't anticipate is you going along with it, say, okay, go ahead and take the children. I'll just do it the following week. Of course, this is an, another argument for the narcissist because then they will therefore say, no, I have them the week after that. The whole point of it is to cause an argument and to have the children mad at you because you stopped them from going to Disney World or Six Flags or some great fun vacation. Whether or not they actually had intentions of taking them is a whole separate argument. They want you to argue with them about the timing that they're supposed to take the kids. They might never have had the intentions. They wanted you to argue so that you will look like the bad parent. If you allow them to go, which they probably never were going to go because the narcissist is expecting you to say, no, they can't go. But if you turn around and say, go ahead and take the kids, I'll just get them the following week. 
the the narcissist will say, well, that's the week that I'm supposed to have them. And you say, yeah, but you're going to have them for two weeks. Then they'll go back and forth with, okay, so that'll be my week again. And then you say, no, but you just had them for two weeks. Yeah, but the way that we worked it out, I'm supposed to have them every other week. And that's, that's the whole point of it. The whole point is to argue. They never intended to take them. They wanted to say that they were just so you could stop them. The whole point of the the trip to Disney World was so that you could stop them and say, so that the narcissist can say, your mom stopped you from having fun. Kind of like whenever the, the, the narcissist bring the children home, they bring them home with a bunch of candy, tons and tons of candy. You can see that their teeth are going bad, but still, if you take the candy away from the kids, you're the bad parent. So now they want to look good to their children. They want to look like the fun parent. Therefore, any type of punishment that you give the children for saying you can't eat the candy, it's my week to have, y'all. The whole point is for you to step in and look bad. They want the children to be mad at you. They don't want the children to love you. They want the children to be angry with you and say you're not fun. Even though deep down, you know that the narcissists don't really want the children. They just want you to suffer from the not from the love that you're not getting from the children. They love the cause that chaos. They love the cause that instability that the children will have of not wanting to be around you because you're not the fun parent. They know this. They don't want the children full time out of love. They want the children because you want the children. They, their whole intentions is to bring chaos. Narcissists see children as an extension of themselves. If the children play ball good, that's my child. That's my son. They may have never even practiced with them, but they will say, that's my child. If they do something good, that's my child. If they do something bad, it's the mom's fault. So when they are doing anything that appears to be positive, it will not have the positive effects that you think it is. They're only doing it for the, for the case of the argument only to make you look bad. The intentions is always about the intentions when it comes to a narcissist. They always have bad intentions. They don't just bring money for the kids. They won't just give kids toys. They bring chaos with the toys. If they bring the child a toy, it's a set of drums. It's something that's going to make a lot of noise. They don't want the drum set at their house where the children can play drums at their house. They bring it to your house because they say, well, you have the children more. It's all about them looking like the good parent. Again, the drum set. The drum set is so that they can play it at your house. And so you can say, please stop playing this drum. You're, it, it's too loud. But dad lets me play it at his house. But dad may not even be home or if dad is home, he's sitting at home with earphones on or what is it? Something to block the noise. It, it's, it's, they never have good intentions. Their only intention is to make you look bad. Can this problem be solved? Perhaps. If, you've, if the children are aware of the things that the narcissists do in advance, that does help. Because many times the narcissist has already done crazy things around the children so that they are aware that dad is going to do this. He's going to do something to make it seem like I'm the bad parent. Sometimes you have to forewarn the children because otherwise, yes, you will look like the bad parent. And it is so hard having the children upset with you over something the narcissist has done and they're smiling the whole time when you're talking to them about the the drum set about not going to Disney World they have that smirk on their face that aha I got you aha the children don't love you aha the children love me more right now but I don't really care about the kids I just want to make you 
mad. That's what it's all about. You guys, that's all I want to talk about today. If you like what you hear, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I'm out.